So I'm gonna put this stick right here. What I want you guys to do is to come around and pivot. Now, what's important to remember when you're actually turning around is to make sure that you keep it wide so you don't step over your snowshoes and back, okay? Hi everyone, it's Chris from Flaghouse. I'm here this week with Dan Deschamps to look at one of his favorite outdoor activities in the wintertime. These are snowshoes. Chris, let's face it, we don't get out enough and play, especially in the wintertime. Now, this here will allow you to get those students and anybody else outside playing, participating, or just going for a simple walk. So you're gonna love this. The kids had a really great time trying these on and getting to play with them. And if you like episodes like this, make sure you subscribe to the Flag House Activity Channel. We always have a new video every single week. Coming up next, it's snowshoes on the Flag House Activity Channel. All right, so here we are in a great outdoors. Excellent. Uh, today we're gonna to be talking about snowshoeing. Has anybody here snowshoed before? Yeah, yeah some people have, some people haven't. And that's generally what, what we get in a classroom is we have probably half that have snowshoed depending where you live and some that haven't. So for those who haven't, uh, great, you're gonna be learning something new. So do you think Charlotte would need a snowshoe this long? No, what about something like that? Probably better for her? That's right, yeah. So the weight and size depends on the length of your, of your actual snowshoe. So what, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you actually how to put them on, some tricks how to walk with them, and then we're gonna do some activities with them. All right, we're gonna start with Charlotte, okay? So you just put your, your shoe right in there, okay? All the way to the, hits the end here. And then this here is just a ratchet. And all you're doing is just ratcheting it up, like, like this here. Okay, and if you want to let them loose, then you just push it back and you just take that out. Okay, so to ratchet up, we're not gonna take it out now. How's that feel, good? Yep. Yep, okay, so that's, that's the front and we're gonna do the back, okay? It's just got a strap system with some holes and we're just gonna pull that back to actually tighten that up. We're gonna put the little protruding end out and this part here, so we don't, because we, we, we don't want this all loose, right? Step on it, so we're gonna put it right in here. All right. It's very easy with the ratchet. That's why most snowshoe companies now have gone with the ratchet because when it's cold out in the winter time, it's a lot easier to ratchet as nothing gets frozen. One little tip about snowshoeing is we normally walk with our legs apart a little wee bit than, than actually normal because of the snowshoes we have in our feet. If you were to walk normal, you'd be tripping all over them. Okay, ready to do this? Yeah. All right, so follow me. Okay, hands are out. See, see how I'm sinking? Are you guys sinking like me? Yeah. No. How's it going guys? Nice. Yeah. So these snowshoes here are good for trails and light snow. All right, just like what we're in. What do we do on trails? We hike, we walk. What else can we do on trails? Run. We run! Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you guys under controlled environments here is a little bit of a light, light jog, okay? So basically all you're doing is you're doing the same thing, feet out a little bit further apart than actually normal. Your, your back is straight and you're, and you're just going front, front, back, front, back, okay? Give her a go. All right, awesome. So I'm gonna put this stick right here. What I want you guys to do is to come around and pivot. Now, what's important to remember when you're actually turning around is to make sure that you keep it wide so you don't step over your snowshoes and back, okay? Okay? Yeah, nice, nice, nice and wide, good. All right, Willow. Very nice, very nice, yeah. Turn around, there you go, nice and wide. Awesome, awesome. All right, so line up one behind the other. Okay. Yeah, 
Good job, Mason, looking good. So if you're looking for something for the classroom to be able to do outside in the wintertime, snowshoes, pretty inexpensive. They'll last forever, and it's a good opportunity to get the class outside during the winter. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Feel free to like, share, or comment on this video, especially if you've got your own ideas for this week's episode. Click over here to subscribe to our channel, and be sure to ring that notification bell so you'll get updates when we bring you new phys ed ideas. Check out more from our library of over 150 activity channel episodes here. And get downloadable activity guides and lesson plans at flaghouse.com here. See you next time on the Flaghouse Activity Channel.